preset style. So this is some pretty important stuff. We have a look at here. As you've as you are probably familiar with with your presets all existing over here and like if I go to illustration I've got all these like 3D render I've got an anime style or if I want like cinematic over here then I'm gonna have fashion blah, blah blah with Phoenix all of those similar things are sitting here in your preset styles and so you're able to go and select any of these if we wanted like a fashion outcome if we wanted an illustration outcome if you want macro photography so for people who are kind of new to the concept of a preset, pretty much it's giving you an advantage of getting the, the desired outcome that you want at the end. So if I know, for example, this one, like if I want this yellow balloon to be a 3D render. So if I go 3D render of a yellow balloon, so I would go and put it on a 3D render and the outcome is probably going to be quite different. I've got auto on, I've run this. Okay, cool. So now the the result, if and you can see over here um, in the kind of information at the at the back end, you can always see which uh, preset it was running on. I had Dynamic set on before. I am a big fan of Dynamic. Oh my gosh, that is a scary balloon. Holy moly. <laughs> okay, well, it wasn't expecting that. That is, that's fun. That's wild. Okay, so it's gone and turned my prompt into this kind of like really like fun character -y outcome. Whereas have I gone and put on say something like this improved prompt over here you're going to get a different outcome again so totally feel confident to kind of play with these different styles like see what the outcome comes I use the word lazy but lazy is the wrong word this is a lazy way of working and like if I wanted to be very clear with what I wanted I would just articulate it in words if I'm still at the kind of a bit of like YOLO phase like I don't really mind what I get this can be a good way of work so as you can see that's got almost like a 3d V-Ray kind of aesthetic to it because I'd set the preset to over here. Now we've got the difference between fast and quality. I mean, I use quality gens when I, a lot of the work I do gets like exhibited. So I, I need it to be have a high quality. Whereas if I'm working fast and rapidly, fast mode is really, really quality is awesome if you want really beautiful outputs. And then your image gen, um, your dimensions sit there. Again, you can choose up to eight images if you want to. I think eight, to me, I don't, I, I, you can run eight at a time. I don't really feel the need to because a lot of my process is iterative in the sense that I want to just see if it's close. And then if it's kind of close, I'm going to build again. Okay, that is the general intro to the interface.